and welcome back to Pages and Pens slash Julie Z Author. I need to just start saying Julie Z Author. Anyway, I am here with an unplugged book box unboxing. Unplugged is done with their monthly subscriptions. As of December, they were no longer doing their adult or their YA. They are still doing their thriller, their twisted retreats, and then special edition boxes like my own, uh, which as of filming this is still available for pre-order. So if you want to catch A Curse of Nash, Prophecy Nash, Destiny Nash, as exclusive covers. They are legitimately, I think I prefer them over the regular. I love the colors of them, especially Destiny. And if you grab the box now, the item that's included is amazing. I was able to pick what I wanted, pick the design, pick everything about it, and I'm in love with it. So I will be unboxing that when I get it, but if you are interested, they do have an option for just book three, book two and three, and then all three books. So if you were able to get A Curse and Ash in their original, just regular box, you can finish the, the whole trilogy or you can buy the whole trilogy if you haven't started yet, or you can just finish up if you've already started with book three. We'll come with an exclusive tarot card bookmark as well as a signed book plate. Get your orders in now, but I'm going to get into the final book box for Unplugged. I had stopped doing unboxings because I wasn't really doing videos and it didn't feel right to only do unboxing videos, but I'm back to making videos and this is their last one. So I had to film it. This is their adult box and I'm going to just cut right into it. I don't know if there's another box inside of this one because this one is not like themed as unplugged, but I do know that there's large items in this. So they had to go with a larger box. So I'm assuming inside of this is just the items. Um, and I was right. I'm gonna fold it back so you can't see my address. And then this is what we're looking at inside the box. And we're gonna jump right in. Uh, we have unplugged friends and a note from Melanie and the team that just says, important notice. Thank you so much for grab grabbing our final monthly box. This one is extra special to us and we hope you love it. We wanted to go out with a bang in case you missed the announcement. We're ending our monthly subscriptions. We already went over all this. Special boxes will ship out almost every month in a variety of genres. So you'll be able to get your special editions if you want them. And thank you for supporting their small business over the past five years. I've been very lucky to be like a permanent rep for them. I've been getting them for a very long time. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of Melanie. I've loved working with her. This is our QR code for spoilers, which I will scan at a later date. We're going to get into this. I'm excited. So first up is a little item. I don't know what this is. I mean, I know what it is because I can see I have eyeballs. But it's a keychain and hand sanitizer in a little pouch, which says the Nowhere House. It says Witch Core. Not quite as popular as Cottage Core or Fairy Core, but it's up there. Oh, is it hand sanitizer or is it lotion? It's lotion. So there's that, but I can use it for hand sanitizer, which I probably will because I always have hand sanitizer on me when I go to like the grocery store or the gas pump or whatever. It actually is really cute. I'm going to scan this, but I'm not going to look at anything yet because I don't want to spoil myself. I have somehow avoided all spoilers. Something else, a leather item. I'm assuming probably faux leather, but it is magic is desire made real. Crystals on it. And it is a wallet. It's a little card holder. Here are different cards. I also have like a keychain wallet that I use most of the time, but like in my purse for like maybe gift cards or uh, like club cards. Like if you have like a Barnes and Noble card or, you know, Sephora, Ulta discount cards or something. That's very cute. Magic is desire made real. I don't know what that's a quote from, but we have one box, one box of two so far, all very usable and I'm here for it. This is adorable. Shut up. It's a little glass jar with a wood lid and it says survival alone is not enough from a kiss of iron. Survival not alone is not enough. There comes a point when you need to live there. Hmm? Let's stuff it full of these little bean things and then maybe you can see what the design is. Can you see it? It's like leafy, like a little flower. It's very pretty. 
a kiss of iron. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I can put little Hershey kisses in there. One more box. It is another wooden lid glass item. I love this for me. It is a drinking cup. This one says, drink me, give me tea, or give me serenity. Curiouser and curiouser, a curiosity brew from Unplugged Book Box. So it is Alice in Wonderland themed, which I'm not a huge Alice fan. There's some mushrooms on the back. Let me see if I can put some more dissolvable peanuts in here so you can see it. I'm assuming somewhere in here we also have a straw, but potentially not, which would be fine because I have a Copa Jillian between Amber and myself when we moved in here. We have so many straws. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the design on that. It's very pretty on that side. And then mushrooms, very cottage coral on that side. I feel like that did not focus last time. I'll just throw that up there one more. Love that. I'm not even keeping boxes because I'm going to use all of that. A straw. It is. It's a very pretty green color. Straight through the peanuts. Bath bomb? Question mark. Willow's Herbal Enchantment Shampoo Bar from Unplugged Book Box. Like, it smells like a crystal shop. I've never used a shampoo bar. I'm not opposed to it. I just never have. And I'm assuming that Willow's is a Buffy thing? Question mark? There's like herbs down in there. Large item. And then the book. This looks really cool. <laughs> it looks so neat. It's like a little... I mean, it says Adventurer. Asteroid B612. How do I open it? I can never get in. I, I nailed it. I don't know how, but I got it. And then a purse strap. So apparently it is a little purse clutch. And there's little hooks on the side here to use as a purse. I don't know that I will use it as a purse. I might use it as just like storage faux leather felted kind of a feel inside. It's very well constructed. The strap is pretty long and adjustable, so it gets a lot longer. That's like the shortest it gets. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I don't know what it's from. So let me look at where everything is from first, and then we'll get into the book, which is a bind up. So I think it's three books in one. And I know it's going to be beautiful. A Discovery of Witches card carrier. Little Prince, the Little Prince hard case carrier slash bag. You can store makeup brushes, art supplies, crafts, school or work supplies, or use it as a like purse. There is an Alice in Wonderland soda can glass. Nailed that one. Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, which I don't own yet, and I want to. It's been in my, like, bag to, like, my cart for forever. The shampoo bar is Buffy, and then a Kiss of Iron jar, which, I mean, it says a Kiss of Iron. I just don't know what that book is. Should I know what that book is? And then we have the book. This is the complete series which is an omnibus, which includes bonus content from the author, exclusive edges, end pages, ribbon bookmark. It's signed by the author. Oh, Jesus, that's very, very pretty. Okay, give me a minute. I think it's a, uh, a romance, because we've got a bit of a hand necklace going on here on the side. And then there's like floral up top and floral on the bottom. And a beautiful gold and purple crescent moon. And then this is the Complete Unmarked series by Miranda Lynn. I don't know. The end pages on the inside, end pages. And then we have a 
signature page, I'm assuming. Ooh, that's very pretty. The signature page, it says complete series. Um, by Unplugged, from Unplugged. So there's the Unmarked Witch, that is the first book. Uh, Unmarked Witch, Unbound Witch, Unblessed Witch. Also says that we've discovered a minor printing error in book two of our edition. Please read chapters one through eight normally, then skip to chapter 10 and 11, then read nine, and then read the rest. Uh, when the author formatted the book, chapter 11 somehow became chapter nine, and the rest got pushed. So as an apology, she's offering her audiobook for free until February 15th, and she also formatted them so that you can read them without interruption somewhere else. So that's nice to have the audiobook because she big, she thick. There's very pretty chapter headers in here. So there's floral pages in between the books and then the title pages, copyright and maps again. A recap from book one before you get into book two and then book two, which is convenient. I think the third one's a novella because it does not look nearly as long. Ooh some character art in there. I don't know if there's more of that throughout, but the last book is this large and the other ones are considerably larger. So I'm assuming we have a novella at the end. And I would assume that those are our main characters. This is beautiful. Yeah, the complete unmarked series by Miranda Lynn. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I am unsurprised that they went above and beyond for their last box. They go above and beyond for their normal boxes. So I am impressed as always. And now that I have a whole ass house as an adult, I've got places to put like glassware and kitchenware and use this stuff, which I love for me. So that is everything for December's adult unplug box, the last of their adult boxes. And I look forward to their exclusive special editions. I've already gotten their first romanticy one and it's beautiful. So I will be continuing to shop some of their special editions for certain. But for now, that is everything. I wish Melanie and Unplugged the absolute best with whatever comes next for them, especially with these exclusive editions and all the fun stuff that they're doing. And thank them for the last five years of awesome book boxes and for the opportunity to be in one and to continue to work with them for my special editions. So very special relationship I have with them and I will miss their boxes every month. However, I'm very excited that they were able to streamline to things that they're very passionate about. So that is all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Have you read this series? Know anything about this series? Let me know in a comment down below and leave me a moon emoji if you made it this far. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye friends.